in my last video, I told you guys about how I had emailed Satan a few times and she didn't respond to me because she was right in the midst of giving me the silent treatment like most narcissists do. And so finally on November 1st, I decided to reach out to her one more time so that we could tie up some of the loose ends that we still had. I was done being tethered to these people. You know, Christmas was coming. I did not want to go into Christmas and into the holiday season being stressed out and miserable because of these assholes. In the interest of just getting this stuff done and over with, I decided one more time to reach out and email them. And so this is what I wrote. I'm just writing to update you on a few things. For starters, I'm not using the attorney that closed on your house. We agreed to use a neutral attorney. I don't know why you told the real estate agents our attorneys agreed on him before they even spoke about it when clearly that wasn't the truth. They actually originally agreed on my attorney doing the closing, but he doesn't want to be bothered. Plus, things are always changing on your end. Of course, I had to question it when the real estate agents told me our attorneys agreed on a real estate attorney when I had just sat down with my attorney that day and he told me he hasn't spoken to Mr. Bed about it. The real estate agents suggested an attorney at the very beginning when I first spoke on the phone with them. We can use them. I'm not agreeing to using your personal attorney. We need to remove the remaining furniture from the house. I have the Salvation Army coming to the house tomorrow to pick up the remaining boxes in the house. I was going to schedule the furniture to be picked up as well, but that would have to happen at a later date because I didn't include it in tomorrow's delivery. Please let me know if you are okay with donating the remaining furniture. The jukebox. A friend of mine told an antiques dealer about the jukebox. He wants to come and take a look at it because he may be interested in buying it. What is your plan? You still won't accept 350 Please pay the landscaper and the oil bill also needs to be paid as well as PSEG, which is the electric company. The Wilmington check was supposed to be sent to the P.O. box. I spoke to someone at RBC and the check was issued last Monday and delivered to your house. I don't know why you'd be holding on to it and not depositing it into the account. Please, let's just get this stuff over with so we can all move on with our lives. It's ridiculous to have to go through our attorneys for simplistic things. We should be able to tie the remaining loose ends up ourselves. Okay. And so that was it. And I finally heard back from Satan. I get an email back from her later that day, about 15 minutes later. And she writes, speak to your attorney about the real estate attorney. As he told Bill yesterday that this would be acceptable. He also called your attorney. If it is not acceptable, I will pass on this offer. Once again, I don't even know, I lost count. I think this is like the sixth, seventh, eighth threat that I received. So if I don't use her attorney, she's going to pass on the offer. So you're telling me that you're going to basically cost the estate money or lose money for the estate because we would have been out about $20,000. Completely irresponsible and against the rules of being an executor. But she was allowed to get away with this shit. So if I didn't use her attorney, she's gonna pass on the offer. This just goes to show that this wasn't about money, it was about control. Is that how badly you need control? Okay. So she writes, the buyers will expect contracts to be signed this Friday. I am okay with donating the furniture. Speak to your attorney about the jukebox as my attorney has addressed this with him. I never got anything from Wilmington. They were supposed to send it to the P.O. box, which is now being forwarded to your attorney. Well, it's being forwarded because you're a crazy bitch who had to change the mailing address. I know where the mail's going. Thanks. I, at this point in time, I was just like, why are they not being held accountable for any of this shit? Really? Why? It's so infuriating. I mean, it really is. Because my attorneys were not fighting for me at all at this point. It was just like, hey, what am I paying you guys for, really? So I give in. I, and I write Satan an email. And I write, you know what, Satan? You want to use your attorney? You got it. Thumbs up emoji. It's not worth it. If you're going to sleep better knowing you have control over the attorney of my mom's estate, go for it. I'll let you have this one. It's no skin off my back. Again, I'm still getting half of everything. You cannot take that away from me. You want control over the attorney? Go for it. Thank you. In fact, I kind of like it. It's kind of like you work for me. You do all the boring emails and stuff, and I can sit back filing my nails. It's like you're my secretary. You're doing me a favor. Thank you. Here's the problem I have, though. 
Everything is done in a sneaky manner with lies and there's no reason for it. Why do you have to lie to people and try to trick me thinking I won't figure things out? Do you have a conscience? You lied to two old people for absolutely no reason. What is that doing for you? I already told you that it's not going to happen, but you insist on keeping the charade up and the game's going. It's made you kind of untrustworthy. So now everything you say needs to be questioned and researched. When you lie and don't share information, it like makes you look shady like you're hiding something. This has been the problem the whole time. If you guys would have just been honest from the beginning, everything could have been so different. It's your choice to have things the way they are. It's been your choice for the last three or so years. Whatever high you're getting off of this, I hope it's a good one. Just do me a favor, give me the info for your attorney. How much does he charge? What's his phone number? I have to know these things too, and when I find them out, then I'll agree to use him. Just an FYI, my attorney works for me. I pay him, and just because he's saying something doesn't mean it's gospel. He can advise me, but ultimately, I have the final say. I just don't understand why you couldn't just send me your attorney's info to begin with. So simple, but instead, you choose to lie and make a game out of it. I'm really starting to think you get enjoyment out of this, which is kind of strange, but different strokes for different folks. Again, thank you for doing all this hard work. You rock. Rockstar emoji. <laughs> they gave me the horns. She writes back to me. Leanna, I'm not sure what you mean with this email, but the next time you address an email to my wife, I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> Okay. In the future, keep the emails focused on estate business. Fuck you. Why are you getting so mad, Satan? Because you're fucking guilty? <laughs> As for the bills, the landscaper check was signed and mailed out. Lie! I never got an electric bill or a check from you. If you know the amount due, send me a check and a bill and I'll sign it and mail it out. Another lie. I'm having the oil bill adjusted because the price per gallon was high. A new bill is coming shortly. So on November 2nd, I wrote back to her and I write, oh really? You're not sure what I mean? What part are you not sure about? Because I'd be more than happy to explain it to you. But I think you know exactly what it means. See, because you know what guilty people do? They hide. They block images on their emails. They delete emails. They refuse to answer you and they give you the silent treatment when they're called out. They deflect. They project. They play dumb, they pretend they didn't see things, they lie, they evade, they avoid. You are doing exactly everything a guilty person does. I just need to know, did you impersonate the first two or is he just special? And I'm referring to Satan's first two husbands. So anyway, I combined my brother and his wife's name. Obviously I can't say it. It's like calling him... It's not gonna work because Satan and Steven start with the same thing. But I combine their name, you know, like JLo does. So, whatever. So, I said, so anyway, Staten, I mean, Steven, let's get back to official estate business. I'll drop those checks off to you in the next day or so. I can also bring some cookies over. No problem. Also, I spoke to my lawyer. He said you told me we can have the jukebox for no cost, and I was totally fucking with her. So sweet of you. I'll be sure to send you a thank you card in the mail. Have fun in your vacation next week. Keep your cell phone on in case I need to get in touch with you with an official estate emergency. Don't forget to send me a postcard. Love always, Lee. Obviously, at this point in time, I completely stopped giving a fuck. I know I'm not talking to my brother, and in my mind, I know I was never talking to my brother. So I started to be a real asshole. Guys, make a monster from the future. I realized that while I was filming this video, I completely left something out. And it's a huge detail, and I totally left it out. I want to go back to that email for a second, where I told Satan this. Also, I spoke to my lawyer. He said you told me we can have the jukebox for no cost. Now, clearly, I was just messing with her. I had gotten to the point where I was just completely fed up. After I sent Satan that email, my husband gets a text from my brother. So, on November 2nd, 2017, at 1.56 p.m., my brother texts my husband, and he writes, I just want to let you know that I told Leanna numerous times not to remove the jukebox from the house. My attorney is addressing this with hers. If you help her take it, I am going to consider it stealing from the estate. First of all, first of all, okay, this jukebox was huge. I don't know if you guys could tell in the pictures. It's about five feet tall and about four feet wide. My husband was not going to be able to just pick this thing up and carry it out of the house. This wasn't something that I was just able to go over there and just take. But you're gonna threaten my husband again with this bullshit that he's stealing from the estate? So my husband writes back to my brother 
and he says, I'm not touching anything. You would have to remove part of the wall to get it out first. Ugh, my husband's punctuation is terrible. Bear with me. I'm not touching anything. You would have to remove part of the wall to get it out. First of all, and I asked you if you wanted to sell it. I don't need it or want it that bad. I just thought you and her would want to sell it to me before a stranger. So you told her you didn't want to sell it to me, and I'm fine with that. So I don't know where you came up that I was going to remove it. And then my brother then sends a screenshot of my email that I sent to Satan, and he highlights the part where it says, also I spoke with my lawyer. He said you told me we can have the jukebox for no cost. And again, I just wrote that because I was so fed up with Satan, her games, and her telling me to contact your attorney about everything. So I just wanted to fuck with her. I was losing my mind. And so he writes underneath the email, this sounds like Satan. I swear to God, she forwarded this to my brother and he forwarded it to my husband. This is what I got from Liana today. This is the exact opposite of what my attorney told hers. I'm not looking to start a back and forth. I just want to make sure things aren't removed when they shouldn't be. So my husband writes back to my brother and he says, okay, I'm not removing anything. Just like when Leanna broke your mom's camera. He's talking about the camera. You guys remember that? The camera that they planted in my mom's house when she was in the hospital dying? Yeah, that camera. So he says, just like when Leanna broke your mom's camera, I got threatened to be taken to small claims court. And now I'm threatened if I move something, which I had no intention to, I'm going to be stealing property. I have not done a thing to you or your wife, and I just tried to see if you were interested in selling it to me. That's all. Just don't appreciate your problems with Leanna turn into threats to me. Okay? And of course, because my brother is the biggest goddamn pussy on the planet, he didn't answer my husband. And so I end up now texting my brother because I was furious this day. I was lit. I was livid. At some point in time after the meeting we had at my attorney's office, my brother unblocked me temporarily and called me from his cell phone. And so I ended up texting him. And I wrote, you have to be kidding me that you are going to threaten Chris for the second time and accuse him of stealing after all he has done for you. You know who took care of your mother for the last three years? He did. While you were out gallivanting, how dare you? How dare you? I'm not kidding anymore, Stephen. This is over. You have pushed it way too far. Keep hiding behind your wife, Stephen. You are just as sick as she is. You really are. Get yourself some help. As you guys can see, my text went through green because my brother had me blocked and he didn't get that. And so I decided to send Satan an email just so they knew, okay? Because I get it. I called your wife insecure back when you guys got engaged. I understand. But my husband, my husband never did anything to my brother. And not only never did anything to him, but my husband always went out of his way to help my brother. And for him to threaten my husband, not once, but twice now, and I can't even tell you guys how angry I was. My husband took care of my mom when my brother sat on his ass like a little bitch hiding behind Satan all the time and his excuses. It's just unbelievable. Like you should be kissing my husband's ass and thanking him for being such a good man to your mother. And instead you fucking threaten him cause you're a pussy and you do it behind a text message because you're a pussy. I have to go back and explain something that happened that I also said in that email about this check. So my mom had these two investment accounts and the one account, I, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I sat down with my attorney and we gave this woman the number, right? The EIN number, which is basically a tax ID or what they use in place of your social security number when you pass away. And the woman ends up contacting me and telling me that she has a different EIN number on file. And I'm like, well, that's strange. And I do my homework and I end up finding out that my Aunt Debbie had applied for an EIN number back in April after I had put my ejection in when she shouldn't have been doing so. You shouldn't do any of that shit until you have the papers, the letters that say you are the executor of the estate. I also have to add here that the woman, I ended up speaking on the phone with her and she confirmed that Satan was the one who gave her the number that my Aunt Debbie had applied for. So basically, I don't know why, but my Aunt Debbie was allowing Satan to control things even when she was the supposed executor. This just completely blows my mind. Why my aunts would allow this girl to speak on their behalf, I have no idea. I mean, only they could answer that question, but the fact that these 
two women were well, well aware of the fact that my mom did not, not only didn't care for my brother's wife, but had specifically told them and everybody else that she knew that she didn't want my brother's wife involved in her estate. I just can't even wrap my mind around it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Where is the respect for my mom? And how do you look other people in the face knowing that you just completely went against her wishes? I mean, these people have no conscience, I swear. The woman had told me that she mailed the check out. We didn't get the check. I didn't know where this check was. And I thought Satan and my brother took the check. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a little page from Satan's game. And I'm gonna tell her that I talked to somebody at the company and they told me that it was mailed to Satan's house because I wanted to see what she was going to say, okay? Um, and I, and I, again, these people are constantly lying. So I didn't know if they had the check or if it was legitimately just taking a long time to get to the PO box or my attorney's office at this point. And so I wrote to Satan and I asked her about the EIN number. She never answered that email, right? So instead of telling me, she calls up and tries to like do it like sneaky behind the scenes and just like tell the woman, oh no, that was the wrong EIN number. Don't use that one. She doesn't clarify it with me. She just fixes her, her lie behind the scenes. This girl lied to so many people during this whole thing. I don't even know how this girl lives with herself. She's a compulsive, habitual liar. While this whole shit's going on with the jukebox, she forwards me a message from the lady at this investment company and it says, Steven, for the third time I checked, it was sent to the P.O. box and still outstanding. We confirmed with RBC, that's a parent company, and I'm not sure who she spoke with because they will not speak to clients. I just lied. I lied to her. She sends me that and she writes, please see below from Wilmington. So I write back to her and I go, haha, you emailed her? I said, thank you. Just making sure you didn't have it. I took a page from your book, worked like a charm. Now I know why you do what you do. Thanks for the info. I'm sure it will be at my attorney's office any day now. So I tricked her basically, okay? So then later on that day, this is when this whole shit was going on with the jukebox. I write to her again and I said, and do me a favor, don't threaten my husband anymore. We have photos of Satan removing stuff from the property. So if you want to go that route, we can. So sad that it came down to this. My husband did more for my mother than her own son. It's pretty sad Stephen would treat him like that. Because you insist on playing games, I am personally writing a letter to the judge and sending in the proof I have that it's you and you're breaking the agreement you signed. If a public administrator gets assigned, so be it. Stephen can thank you. It's going to cost a lot of money. Never got a reply to that. And we go right back into the silent treatment. I really wanted to just get this stuff over with, but it wasn't going to be easy. Satan was giving me the silent treatment. For whatever reason, I think I couldn't get in touch with my attorney. And my brother ended up going on vacation. And so uh, in the next video, we're going to find out what happened with the jukebox.